Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to look at how to build a dry stream bed. Dry stream beds are great for helping divert rainwater. They're great for serving as focal points of landscape and for soil erosion. A lot of other things you've seen in some of my other videos about dry stream beds. This one is a medium sized one. The owner wanted one that kind of helped divert rainwater away from the patio area and down away from the driveway and get it into the street where it can go into the storm runoff. So that's what we did with this particular one. So as always, you want to kind of lay it all out. We laid out roughly where it's going to lay in the new landscape and once we've painted it all in with the paint, as you can see, we did a little bump in it, made it, you know, give it a little natural kind of wave to it. Um, once we did that, we dug out the actual root of it because we want the dry stream bed to be slightly lower than the surrounding uh, landscape. We want the water to go into it. Once we do that, it's very important to lay down that heavy duty weed black underneath all the rock. Um, because if you're introducing an area that's gonna get more water than everything else, odds are weeds are going to follow. So use a really heavy duty commercial weed block to go underneath all those rocks. Then it's time to bring out the rocks. And so the one you're going to see in this video is about 100 feet long, I believe about, about three feet wide. Um, I'm sorry, 30 feet long by about three feet wide. So it's about 100 square foot of dry stream bed. And for that, you need about four tons of rocks. You want to have a nice mixture of some bigger rocks, some smaller rocks, and then some small little cobble rocks to give it a kind of a natural look. Also with dry stream bed, with the rock layout, you put the bigger ones on the edges to serve as focal points. And then you want to, you know, put the smaller stuff on the middle part and then the really tiny stuff in the center part, which makes it give it kind of a natural look to it. Once you get that all laid out, a couple important things. You want to sink some of those bigger rocks to make it look a little more natural. And once you're done laying in all those rocks, eh, rinse it off because, you know, the rocks at the quarry are going to be kind of dirty and filthy. And once you're done with all that, add some plants, add some lights, and you have a really natural, nice dry stream bed that serves again to help divert water away from the landscape as well as filtering that water before it gets into the storm water drainoff. So it's really important to kind of help maintain our storm drains and take some of the pollutants out of the water before they actually get down into the street. And it looks really beautiful. This one's going to look really great as all the plants fill in. We added lights on the edges to light it up at night to serve as a really great focal point to the rest of this particular property. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thank you so much for watching.